uh, from last week about the father's birth certificate. Mm -hmm. We've gotten a couple of this one from Akif. Now, as per reci uh, reci reciprocity, reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Table India, mm -hmm. for persons uh, born prior to April 1st, 1970, birth certificates are considered unavailable. Mm -hmm. My father was born in 1959. Does he still need a non-availability birth certificate no, if he already no, has the, the other the, secondary because documents? Because the Foreign Affairs Manual says it's unavailable. Okay. Whew, that was an okay. easy one. Yeah. Chico <laughs> Zivadze, another Brad Squad VIP member. I am planning to get remarried to an American citizen. Will New York State recognize my foreign divorce certificate if both spouses were living in the U.S. during the divorce proceeds? The divorce was obtained via proxy. No, you are not legally divorced. Not only will New York State not accept it, but immigration will not accept it. You know, years ago, when I was first a lawyer, a lot of people, I don't know, they would answer ads for Dominican divorce. And you would do a proxy divorce in the Dominican Republic while both parties were in the United States of America. I don't know if that's what he's referring to or another country. And people would literally mail paperwork down and 20 days later the judge was signing divorce papers. But immigration was never recognizing any of those divorces. So I would assume to this day, immigration is still not going to recognize it, nor will New York State. All right, Eichmann Obina, Brad Squad VIP member. Is it possible to file for my two brothers in Nigeria when I become a U.S. citizen? They're all over 18 years old. Yes, but it's going to be a very long time. Child KM, a Brad Squad VIP member. I am a U.S. citizen. Can I file for my orphan niece in um, Zambia? What is the procedure? you can start the process of filing for an orphan niece. I assume orphan means no mother, no biological father, no biological mother. You would need, you would need to do a pre-adoption here in the United States first before filing an orphan petition. You have to do it through a social worker agency um, and we can help you uh, get in touch with one. William Patrick Kamda, uh, Brad Squad VIP member. I'm an asylum seeker waiting for an interview. Can I travel to a country other than my country? Travel to a country? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Abidun Akanbi Aragon on YouTube. My employer is concurrently filing and premium processing form I-140 and form I-485 for me. Can form I-824 be filed for a spouse and two kids at the same time as they are currently in Nigeria? What is she doing? Who's sponsoring? Uh, the employer is filing a premium processing form no. I-140. No, you, I no you, would, you would file the I-824 after your adjustment is, is approved. Young King's lifestyle on YouTube. My case was approved, but on my notice, it said I'm in the States and I'm not. I called them to have it fixed and they wrote a, ty a typographic error. Do you think it's going to work? What, who, who approved? She, he was filed by a family member? Uh, just as the case was approved, but on the notice it said that they, are, they were in the States, but they're not. Okay, so if it gets to the National Visa Center, you're okay. You got to make sure the case is getting to the National Visa Center. If it's not at the National Visa Center, you're never going to get through. Then you would have to do an I-824 to transfer it to the National Visa Center. Even though it's not your fault, you'd still have to do it. Renee Stewart on Facebook, my daughter who is 15 no longer lives with her US citizen dad who filed for her. Can I file for her citizenship? I am a pa uh, permanent resident. You would not file for her citizenship. She's an automatic citizen. If she was living in the legal and physical custody of the father for some period of time with a green card and the father was a citizen even if it was a two months, three months, whatever it is. Um, she's an automatic citizen. You would file an N-600. Alam Aga on YouTube. I paid USCIS the immigration fee on April 1st, 2021. After a week, my wife and two children received their visas and they gave me 90 days to wait, but I have not yet received it. Is this normal? Wait, so the family got it and he didn't? Yes. No, not particularly normal. You may need to have somebody get involved. That's not normal. Right. Elegant lady on YouTube, any changes in the Senate on the infrastructure bill? Not yet, but I'm scouring the news every day to check in on it. 
Celio Ba on YouTube, is it okay f uh, to file the I-751 two months before expiration or does it have to be 90 days before the expiration? Any day between the day of expiration to 90 days before. So two months before is perfectly fine. Natalie Haynes on YouTube, what if I get an appointment from DHS after seven months and didn't get any response at my adjustment of status interview? Should I be worried? Well, the longer, it, I assume it's a marriage case, the longer it takes, the more likely it is that they have questions about the validity of your marriage. Nalinba Patel on YouTube, when will the travel ban be over? I wish I knew. Emerson Cavacalti on YouTube, do you think restaurant workers will count as essential workers when or if the reconciliation package gets approved towards immigration of undocumented people? I wish I knew. Astute man on YouTube, is this a good time to file for asylum? It certainly is. Tabri's Mystery on YouTube, I'm a green card holder and I applied for my wife's I-130 in March of 2020. How long will I have to wait? Also, I applied for my citizenship in July of 2020. How long will I have to wait for my citizenship? Citizenship, you should have already got an appointment already because you're over a year. For your wife, it's usually about two and a half to three years, but hopefully if you're a citizen, maybe shorter. Let's give you fingers crossed. Amilcar B on YouTube. I did my biometrics last Wednesday and I'm waiting for my EAD. How long should I expect to wait? I'm supposed to start a new job, switching from H-1B to green card and my wife is sponsoring me. It's really uh, from the time that you filed for your six months and maybe less than 90 days from the biometrics. Top Delmar on Facebook. Why can't immigration lawyers file lawsuits for people who have been waiting a long time? They do, it's called a mandamus. R. Melendez on YouTube. My brother has been at LPR since 2000, 2012, U.S. resident, parent to child, and is ready to become a citizen. In 2008, our removal proceedings were closed based on TPS for Salvadorians. Uh, what's the next step? Say it again. I was reading Marge Higgs' comment. Any time is a good time to apply for asylum as long as you're qualified. That's the next question. That and part. I was saying to myself, she's right. I didn't say that part, but right. yeah, she's right. So right. let's say... Um, My brother has an LPR since 2012, U.S. resident parent to child, and is ready to, to become a citizen. Now, in 2008, our removal proceedings were closed based on TPS for Salvadorians. So what's the next step? Does he have his green card? Or what is he talking about? That's why I'm confused. The brother has been an LPR since 2012. File an N-400 if he's over 18. Yep, because he's a parent to a child mm -hmm. and is ready to become a citizen. Yeah. Georgia Fletcher on Facebook. My husband filed as a legal guardian for my son when he was 14 years old. Is my son an American citizen or does he have to file? If if he, the son was living with a U.S. citizen parent? Yep, my husband filed as a legal guardian for my son. No, not as a legal court. guardian, sorry. Nope, he has to wait till 18 to become a naturalized citizen. Keanu on YouTube, if someone's visa was revoked at the border for being inadmissible, does it mean the kid's B1, B2 is automatically revoked too without the child being there? Doesn't mean it, but probably it's going to happen anyway, just as a matter of course. Two more, Vanessa. Joan Wallace on YouTube. I have been here for four years. What can I do to get a green card? Not sure what their status is, but <laughs> what can they do to get a green card? Go see a lawyer. Start start there. Okay, and Stargirl Mika, last one. Facebook uh, saying USCIS National Benefits uh, Center received my EAD renewal on May 4th. Vermont received my AP renewal on May 17th and already approved my AP on June 23rd, but my EAD is only saying fingerprints were added to my case. Why is the National Benefits Center taking so long to renew my EAD? That's I do have the extension around January 2022, uh, but I'm just curious. Please don't ask the Magic 8-Ball. I'm not Please. asking the Magic 8-Ball, but it's taking way... It's supposed to be 90 days. But since COVID began, with Trump cutting back, uh, they had such a huge backlog of cases, they're taking closer to six months now to renew work permits, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.